There will be a time change in the Brashear basketball tournament tomorrow night. The Navajur Marion County boys game will now be played at 5, while the Putnam County boys will play at 8. The Midgets don't care when they take the court. They just want to keep on playing. Here at the end of the season, we're in a tournament, and that's always good to get us ready for our districts. So we're just working on things we need to here at the end of the season, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make a run at districts. Big road win by the Kirksill boys last night over Moberly. The win keeps the Tigers in first place in the conference. The key was never giving up. Our guys just stayed resilient. They kept fighting. You know, we had we faced a little bit of adversity, uh, probably brought on by ourselves early, um, but stayed in it, stayed close, stayed tight. There's a lot of lead changes. The Kirksville girls lost to Moberly. After a slow start, the Tigers hit their stride. In the second half, kids kind of relaxed a little bit and started just making plays and playing the game. And when they can relax and do that, then they're, we're a lot more successful as a team. The Fairfield girls dismantled EBF last night, 88-48. to Now the Trojans will turn their attention to Fort Madison. It should be a good one, a conference game. I mean, we're undefeated in the conference, and they definitely probably want to take that away from us. And so it'll be a fun, interesting game, and um, it'll, we'll have a good crowd at senior night, so it'll be a fun game. In college basketball, the Truman State men's road to a GLBC West championship goes through Romeoville tomorrow night as they take on Lewis. If you're headed to the game, just remember to take Interstate 55, then take the Renwick exit and turn right on Highway 53. The Bulldogs have a better road record, 8-3, and three, than they do at home, 7-3. and three. It's hard to say. I don't know. I mean, I think... You know, playing so many road games um, early, I don't know if we just kind of got used to, to being on the road and it was kind of a different feel being at home or, or what it was. But, uh, you know, we we're going to need that this week going to, to Lewis and Parkside, two very good teams. Meanwhile, the Truman State women are a game out of second place in the GLVC West on the road. Defense will be the key. Lewis has two of the top scorers in the GLVC. We're really going to have to be able to defend them. They got some kids that can shoot it. They got some kids that can do some back to the basket stuff. Uh, at the same time, we're going to have to find a, a way to rebound. The Kirksville wrestlers head to St. Charles for districts on Saturday. It's put up or shut up time. One Kirksville wrestler who has put up impressive numbers on the year is Tanner Sparks. He is ranked first in 152 pounds. His experience will be the key. Knowing my competition and knowing how I have to do to win, so I think that's something that I've really just come across and just knowing how I have to wrestle to win, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice to go out there and know kind of how these guys wrestle and know the, the competition level that I have to uh, step up to. Fred Beck, KTVO Sports.